This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports a Houston-area man has been sentenced to more than four years in federal prison for running an $11 million Ponzi scheme. Prosecutors say 56-year-old Kenneth Alfred Scudder of the Woodlands could be required to forfeit a dozen properties. A federal judge in Houston on Monday sentenced Scudder to 53 months behind bars in a scam going back to 2005. Investigators say Scudder lured dozens of investors with a promise to use their money to buy houses, renovate the structures, and then sell or rent the properties. Scudder promised investors at least 50% ownership in the sale of the houses or half of the rent. Prosecutors say Scudder used some of the investment money to make mortgage payments on his primary home, buy a condominium in Galveston, and purchase jewelry. KVUE.com reports, A McCuney teen's parents are facing charges for what their son allegedly took to school in his backpack. Police say the McCuney residents were arrested a week ago after their 16-year-old son was caught handing out pot to at least two students at school. After an investigation, Lisa and William Kochmar were arrested for possession of marijuana under two ounces. According to Seguin radio station KWED, Police reportedly found two marijuana plants and 121 grams of marijuana valued at about $1,400 in the family's McCuney home. KWED reports that three other people connected to the case were also arrested. The teen was not detained or charged. The Associated Press reports Southwest Airlines, based in Dallas, says it doesn't expect to earn a profit in the first quarter because of higher fuel costs. Chief Financial Officer Laura Wright said jet fuel prices have been higher than the airline expected, about $3.50 per gallon instead of the $3.35 it had been forecasting. Wright also says ticket bookings for spring travel was down in late February. She says the airline doesn't know whether that was a short-term blip or signals something bigger about the economy. Southwest has been the most consecutively profitable large U.S. airline for many years. So news that it won't make money in the first quarter could indicate that other airlines will also struggle to be profitable. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.